In this video, I'm going to show you the best sub job for each character in Octopath Traveler 2. The card's best secondary job is the Arms Master. The Arms Master's bulwark utilized with the Warrior's Insight, Vengeful Blade, and Stout Wall makes for a great combo for tank builds, which is what Hikari was made for. Abide, paired with Lion's Heart's Axe, is probably one of the highest damage dealing pairs in the game. Agnia's best secondary job is the Inventor. The Inventor job has some of the best single target buff debuff skills such as Springy Boots, Critical Scope, and Arkara's Coil. Also, Agnia's latent power allows the Inventor's single target skill to instead target all foes or all allies. Oswald's best secondary job is the Cleric. Having Cleric as a secondary job allows for Oswald to cover Fire, Ice, Lightning, and Light, making you versatile when it comes to elemental attacks. Mystical Staff and Inner Strength are good skills for Oswald because both of them give him SB, allowing him to use more of his elemental skills during combat. And also, if you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more Octopath Traveler 2 guides and how-tos, along with some other games that I'll be covering in the future. Timonos' best secondary job is Scholar. This combination allows him to deal damage while also supporting his allies with mitigation and healing. Just like Oswald, Mystical Staff and Inner Strength make him self-sufficient when it comes to his SP consumption, allowing him to use more Scholar skills. The Latent Power Judgment allows him to lower the enemy's shield points regardless of weaknesses paired with the Scholar's high damaging spells. Thurning's best secondary job is Dancer. This combination is used to inflict status elements while at the same time giving buff to her allies. Her latent power, Leave No Trace, allows her to have two actions per turn. This can be very useful when applying buffs or status elements to enemies. The Dancer can also cover wind and dark elemental attacks, so she's a good pair for someone like Oswald, who doesn't have these in his elemental pool. Ochet's best secondary job is the Warrior class. This will allow her to drastically increase her physical power and use things like Abide, Take Aim, and Eagle Eye combined with her latent power, letting her do massive amounts of damage on pretty much anybody she battles. And giving her the warrior sub job allows her to cover swords, pole arms, axes, and the bow weapon types, making her very versatile in breaking shields during battle. Cassie's best secondary job is the Cleric. This will allow her to cover all of her weaknesses since she's a single target healer and support. Having Cleric as her secondary job will allow her to access mitigation skills and heal the entire party, which she cannot do without the Cleric sub job. Then Partitia's best secondary job is by far the Arcanist. The Arcanist's Seal of Diffusion allows skills that normally only target one person in the party be applied to the entire party. So using Seal of Diffusion with things like Sidestep and Rest just make him extremely overpowered. And the Seal of Diffusion can be used with things like the Seal of Immortality and the Merchant's Donate BP. This makes him one of the best supports in the game by far. Let me know down below if you agree with this list or if you have a different setup for your playstyle. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.